Welcome to another episode of St. Vincent Untold Stories. On this episode, we feature part 2 of the Last of Ray Volcano. Big ups to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you wish to see more videos like these. Drop a comment, tell us what you think. If you notice the heading carefully, you might say I'm using the heading for clickbait, but it's not. Last week, someone sent a voice note to my phone on WhatsApp saying the volcano was scheduled to erupt January 28, 2021. That video went viral and sent the nation into a shockwave. Before we go further, let me play a clip from that video so you won't say I'm lying. Because this channel is based upon the truth and the truth only and so shall we reveal it. Yeah, this is ET, so, you know. More tell me Vince for money and friends, them, you know what I mean? This is a serious thing, you know? And watch me. Now everybody start to get candle, buy a lamp, buy oil, you understand? Get flour, sugar, get a little food stuff in general, get water in a bucket. Make sure you get plenty of water in a bucket, you understand? And listen to me now, very carefully. You can go get earthquake, you understand me? The earth government, I go tell you that. You understand? Do your own research and you go see every volcano get earthquake happen. So, more of this voice note go everybody in Vinci. Prepare yourself for some earthquake. You understand? Before you suffer Europe. You understand? Suffer is supposed to Europe. The 28th of January done. And I tell nobody no lie. Government. No I tell nobody statistics basically. Because the volcano itself. Eating from one side. And mountain. You understand? Then I show nobody that picture. Day. But that will happen. So everybody in St. Vincent. I want everybody. Get water in the house in bucket. Flour. Sugar. Milk. Rice. Just make sure you get food inside the house, stack up. And listen to me, I open all the doors of them, and the house do one thing for all the leeward people of them, and all the country people from all fancy and thing up the down, and I help them out. You understand? Let it come down now. Let they start to come down from up the now down, today. You understand? Me drop the message at today. You understand? So, today is the 20th down. Me drop the message at. You understand? I want everybody listen to me very carefully, please. If you love your family, just make sure. They come down from fancy, they come from chateau, they come up and open doors to them and see me. So. And everybody stack up food and thing. You can get earthquake and thing. Believe that. You understand? This is eat to that. You understand? Julius Jeffers, I'm a right name. Did a voice not wrong. Before we go further, let me just take a time out. To big up my schoolmate, Desran Rajigas, a.k.a. David. You see, David is a youth that normally take people to the last of a volcano and chips. But Nemo had to give out a warning, said nobody must venture into the volcano. But because David was going there so regular, he went because it was a regular thing to him. When they saw the picture, they said that the man wanted fame. How could the man wanted fame when it was his job? If you think I'm lying. Message Queenie on Facebook, Crown Photo Studio. It's almost every week them people they go up there. Sometimes them call me. Me say me, me can't take the long walk there. The last time me foot out me, me foot ball out like a pick me nigga. You see, we are team members, we all grew up together. So we go on adventures at times. We go to Richmond, different set of places. Our queen is a photographer. David went inside the dome and he took some pictures and he took some rocks. And everybody started to complain. They must lock up the man. Nemo themselves was even afraid to go into the crater. So the man was brave. It's after the man went to Nemo put them set up a man with a seismic suit. A thing suit. You must see the suit. David, he was very courageous. But one problem Nemo really had. They said that the gases would affect you. And if the volcano blew, then you are on your own because no one would be there to save you. But you see... 80% of the population went along with David because they were saying that it was his choice. 
Uh, David, some people won't give you the credit. Why credit you? Because you was the one who made us know how the volcano looked and showed us that it was glowing in the night. You see, when you light up charcoal in the day, you see it black. And in the night, you see it red. It's just so the volcano going. Last week, the volcano began to glow at a heavy pace. Everyone got scared. Even I myself. <laughs> at the time, I was by my aunt. She said, nephew, grab every piece of clothes immediately. Put your passport. Put your ID card them in a bag. No. You see, someone had sent me pics on WhatsApp that the volcano was erupting and the red thing was lava. From the time she saw the picture, she said, I go wait. There we go now. Videos started to circulate with the people moving out of Rose Hall, Rose Bank and Chateau Belair. Pick me pan head, everybody started to run. Then came Nemo, always late. <laughs> Them issue a public statement that the volcano was only glowing. Why them went so late for do that? How much of our elderly citizens use social media? Things like Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Tell me, how much old people have computer? Are the younger ones, so if you put something on the media, are the younger people them most likely are going to sit unless them siblings share it with them. You, the radio is another source that Nemo could have used and put out the thing. They said that there would be a meeting in communities, but through because of the COVID, some of the meetings had to be put off. I'm wondering if they have trucks with speakers that Nemo could come around in the communities so that the COVID won't affect them. They could come with the loudspeaker and announce the thing publicly. I don't know what's going on in this country. Everything seems to be a cover-up. Anytime something happens, it's always some kind of excuse. Your people's life are in danger here, you know. Tell me something. In case of the evacuation process, places like Georgetown and surrounding areas, who do not get the meeting? What is the meeting point? Where do they meet in case the volcano erupts? Do they... Assemble at the schools? What do they do? What are the names of the transportation? Should we have transportation for persons who have tested positive for COVID and those who have tested negative? How do we deal with the pandemic during this eruption? Everybody gonna clog up together in the boxes, out of trucks. One of my relatives just flew back to the United States and she had to present to recent PCR tests. And one had to be within 72 hours. So she had to travel within that 72 hours. And a PCR test would not be valid. So tell me something. In case the eruption happens tonight. Now, now, now. How do we get the PCR test done? Huh? Do we conduct rapid testing? Because them temperature gun when we see them are used there. You know, that's not valid. Because some people have it and it don't show up on the temperature gun. So tell me for them temperature gun they don't have to use. And you know, so sometimes it don't show up one time. It shows up sometimes several days after. And Nemo, you know, they come out and tell us publicly. Where do we meet in case the volcano erupts? What transportation do we take? Do we go by boat or do we go by sea? What about if the river is blocked in places like Sandivy? Do you have the helicopter ready to evacuate? Can we get the same treatment like the people in Monsterat got? So they could go to the UK? Because I'm ready to fly out to the UK. Suitcase already packed. Passport ready. Nemo, as I said before, we need updates twice daily. Don't put our lives in jeopardy. Come out and tell us what is going on. You see the citizens from Georgetown and above? Suppose the undermine is blocked. How do you evacuate all those people? Plus then again, we are talking about evacuation to speedboats and so on. When we have the volcano attracting sharks, that's another pandemic on our hands. How do we handle those sharks? Suppose somebody jump overboard. You see, anytime you talk the truth, some people get vexed with you. I don't know why. But we have to look at all these situations. Me personal, I don't want the volcano to erupt. That's why I'm praying steadily. I want the lava to just float and the thing to stop. Because I know it would affect a lot of lives. As I said before, don't play hero and don't play stubborn. If you have to evacuate, evacuate. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you wish to see more videos like these. And as I told you before, continue to support small businesses. Buy your candles, get everything ready. And the PM, I know you're an understanding guy. 
during this pandemic, I ask you, just like how you guys give out galvanize, to go out and give out candles, because not everybody could afford during this time. Because, you know, we have a pandemic on our hands, some people are not walking. Go out, give out some soldier lights, some batches, and some candles, and some food stuff.